Hello everyone, welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. So last episode we got through the uh, Fubras River, whatever it's called. Uh, now we're on our way to Kitesur, which is all the way south of here. But let me just go ahead and check a look at the uh, enemies around here. See how strong they are. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's not bad. There we go. I'll do whatever it takes. Repig me. <laughs> All right. Let me just check out how many uh, how many experience do they need to level up here. Uh, I'm also gonna change some of the titles, I guess. Duke's son. Yeah, let's change that. I think the title actually changes the stats for everyone, some people, right? No, I guess not. Van sister, necromancer. I think his change. Nope. And yeah, in this one, in this version, I think you can't change the uh, the name. In other Tales game, you can actually change people's name. But I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna call someone else's something else. I don't know. Alright, experience 779. I just need that much. Oh, wait, I need 230 experience. I mean, yeah, okay, that's easy. We could do that. Already a cutscene. <laughs> if I may have a moment. Oh come on! We're almost a kite sewer. What do you want here? <laughs> it's Tears von Akims, isn't it? Oh. Yes, I've wondered about them for a while. Her phonic hymns are different from the ones I know. And Ion, you say those are Yulia's phonic hymns. So what? Yulia's phonic hymns are special. Normally, phonic hymns are just the incantation used in a phonic art combined with a melody. They're not as strong as phonic arts. Hmm. But Yulia's hymns are different. They are said to hold the same power as phonic arts. Yes, the phonic hymns I use are indeed those of Yulia. I thought Yulia's hymns meant nothing with only the verses and melody. Really? You can't just sing them? When one who truly appreciates the symbolism and meaning sings a verse, it draws a map to hidden wisdom. I honestly don't understand any of this. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Or so they say, anyway. Supposedly, they're handed down in secret from one generation to the next. Yes, that's correct. You know a lot about them. I heard about it once, way back. How are you able to sing Yulia's hymns? Who did you learn them from? I was told that it is because my family is descended from Yulia. I don't know whether that's true or not. A descendant of Yulia? I see. So that means Master Van's a descendant of Yulia too? Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, I guess so. Whoa, Master Van's so cool! <laughs> Thank you, Tyr. I would certainly like the chance to learn more about phonic hymns. Especially the Grand Phonic Hymn. Grand Phonic Hymn? What's that? Oh my god, there's so many Phonic Hymn. <laughs> the Phonic Hymn Yulia sang to use Lorelei's power. It is proof of their covenant. Shall we get moving? I believe I've answered your question. No, I believe you didn't answer my question. What is everything in this world? <laughs> Alright. It's uh... I did some settings. I, I did some ch uh, change the settings on my emulator. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. It looks does it look better now than before? I don't know. We'll see. Border Fortress Kaitsur. Hooray! We made it. Alright, let me go and head and is this the end? Yes. I wanna go and rest here. After everything we've been through, I want I need a rest. Cause in a while. Stay. Uh, I'm surprised they don't let you they don't make you pay anything. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the item shop here. What do you have? 
I need more apple gel now that I have money. Pineapple gel. A sweet gummy medicine recovered 60% of TP. We don't really that much. Uh, maybe... Right, lemon gel we have that. So that's good. Is there a equipment store here? Maybe? No, I guess not. Oh, there's Anis. Hey, isn't that Anis? I've lost my identification and my passport too. Please let me through, please. Oh. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. Oh. You better watch your back. <laughs> Anis, Luke can hear you. <laughs> oh, it's my darling, my prince. Yeah, women are scary. Yeah, they are. When uh, whenever you ask them if they're fine, and they say it's they're fine, but they're not fine. Next thing you know, they'll burn all your shit in your lawn. So yeah, they are scary. <laughs> Luke, I'm so glad you're safe. I was so worried about you. We were worried too. They said you were fighting monsters and fell from the Tartarus? Yeah, it was pretty scary. <laughs> the poor thing must have been terrified. She screamed, I'll kill you bastards as she fell. <laughs> Phone master, please. Shh. I kept the Imperial letter safe. Aren't you proud of me, Luke? Oh, uh, yeah. Good job. Yay! I'm glad you're I'll safe. kill you bastards. <laughs> Were you worried about me too, Colonel? Watch your back, Colonel. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> yes, we can't do a thing without that letter. You're mean. <laughs> By the way, how are we going to cross the checkpoint? Neither Luke nor I have passports. You won't need any once you're dead. Oh crap, it's Ash. I know why I know it's Ash because Ash and Luke has the voice of has the same voice actor. Stand down, Ash. Yuri Lowenthal. And you'll find out why. And it's not because it's not just because they have the voice same 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 voice actor. There's a reason why too. So you'll figure it out later. Out of the way, Ben. What do you think you're doing? I don't recall giving any orders like this. No. Oops, sorry. Master! Luke, that parry was pathetic. <laughs> we meet up after all that's happened and that's the first thing you say? <laughs> Van. Tear, put away your weapon. You misunderstand. What do you mean? Calm down. Once you're ready to listen to me, come to the inn. Master, thanks for saving me. It must have been hard for you, Luke. You've done an admirable job. I'd expect no less from my pupil. Thank you. <laughs> he was complaining the whole time on the way here. <laughs> Tyr, let's listen to what Van has to say. I think it would be foolish to insist on fighting and ignore an opportunity to communicate. Yeah, seriously, how bloodthirsty are you? <laughs> As you wish, Phone Master. Well, all right, let's go see Van. Anise has joined the party. Alright, what level are you, Anise? Level 5. Ugh. Ash the Bloody. Was that Ash the Bloody? He attacked so suddenly, I couldn't be sure. Wow. If the Commandant hadn't stepped in, Luke could have been killed. Yeah. <laughs> but just attacking out of the blue without even trying to capture Ion. <laughs> are they that desperate? No, Ash just wants to kill Luke. Perhaps, in any case, a caution will be well advised. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was just one. He just wants to kill Luke. All right, let's go to the end. Where are you, Van? There you are. Have you calmed down a bit? Why are you trying to interfere with Phone Master Ion's efforts to prevent war? Are you still saying that? She's wrong, isn't she, Master? But the six god generals are trying to kidnap Ion. Calm down, Tyr. I have no idea why the Phone Master is even here to begin with. All I've heard from the Order is that Ion vanished from the Cathedral in Doth. 
I'm sorry, Van. I did that of my own volition. I'd appreciate it if you'd fill me in on what's happened up until now. I'm the one who took Ion away. Allow me to explain. Please explain it to us, like, very, very, very slowly the to me. <laughs> the six god generals, but they are part of the Grand Maestro faction. It's likely they are under orders from Grand Maestro Mose. I see now. You may have been recalled to steal Ion back from the Malkuth military. Yes, perhaps so. The one who attacked you earlier, Ash, is also one of the six god generals. But even I didn't know he was involved in this matter. Then are you saying you have nothing to do with all of this? No. Considering I was unaware of what my own troops were doing, I must take some responsibility. But I don't side with the Grand Maestro faction. That's news to me, Commandant. I'm the leader of the Six God Generals, so people tend to assume I side with the Grand Maestro. Hmm, that's that true. Matter, Tyr, you're part of the Intelligence Division under the Grand Maestro's command. Why are you here? I'm searching for something under orders from Mose. I can't say any more than that. The Seventh Phone Stone? I'm not at liberty to say. The Seventh Phone Stone? What's that? <laughs> There's so many phone, 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 Jesus. What? Quit looking at me <laughs> like I'm stupid. <laughs> Talk about a sheltered life. Well, yeah. You it's know what the score that Yulia read two thousand years ago. The world's future is written within. The score was so long it took up seven phone stones, each the size of a mountain. Wow. Eventually the stones broke apart. Some became the phone belt you see in the sky. Others fell to the earth. Malkuth and Kimlaska both tried to claim the stones that fell to land, and that led to war. Because if you have the phone stones, you can learn the future. Huh. So the thing with the seventh score written on it is called the seventh phone stone, huh? It's said that Yulia hit the seventh herself after she read the score. Therefore, numerous powers have been searching for the seventh phone stone. And that's what Tyr is looking for now? Maybe, maybe not. At any rate, I have nothing to do with Moe's. I'll order the six god generals not to interfere with you all. Though I don't know how much good it will do. Van, what about passports? Oh yes, Duke Fabra has entrusted me with temporary passports. With the spares I brought just in case, there are just enough for all of you. Damn, he came well prepared. Even for... Now we can cross the border. Even for Tyr, they, he, he brought a passport for Tyr. It's awesome. You should get some rest here before you go. I'll go on ahead across the border and ready a ship. So we'll meet up at the Kite Sewer Naval Port? Right. Once you cross the border, just follow the sea and you'll be there shortly. Don't get lost now. See? I told you Master Van wasn't doing anything wrong. I don't trust him. Oh yeah? Well, I don't trust you. Shut up, Luke. I don't trust you. <laughs> That's fine with me. Nice friendly relationship you two have there. <laughs> okay. An ordinary little girl. Anise, I'm glad you're safe. Luke, it was so lonely without you. It's white on white though, I can't even see. Yeah, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> it sounds like you had a hard time. A little longer and we might have actually okay boo about worrying about me from the beginning <laughs> well now we just need a head <laughs> the better call <laughs> indeed I just hope the six god general will leave us alone until then guy are you interested in me <laughs> no I mean Jade and I were talking about you a lot so I wonder what you were lo really like me I'm just an ordinary everyday cute girl oh it seems that Anise has a de slightly different definition of ordinary than I do. <laughs> That's mean, Colonel. I don't don't laugh, Ion. <laughs> hey, enough talk. Let's get moving. No, oh, sorry. Anyway, An Anise, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Just don't touch him. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save here. Now we can use the passports that we get. Passports, please. Have a safe journey. That was quick. That was quick. Now we're finally at the uh, Kim Laska side. We can actually do more stuff These here. Passports. 
We received direct orders from His Majesty the King to let you through immediately. We're finally back in Kimlaska. Don't relax yet. The vacation's not over until you're actually home. Yeah, I'll pass on any more vacations like this. <laughs> it's been a while since I visited Kimlaska. Look, it's way better than whatever you were doing at home. Practically doing nothing. Just staring at windows. Staring at the sky. <laughs> The Kitesur Naval Port is south of here, right? Come on, Luke, let's go. Okay, so now that we're here, we're gonna go and check out some of the stuff here. Maybe they have better item, something. What do you want? Okay, so they do have a better item. Okay, uh... I wanna upgrade some more, uh, some of the, uh... Tear and jade stuff here. So white gloves. Alice Bra Alice Band. Leather boots. I can give that to both Luke and Guy. I don't know if I'm gonna use Agnes, but I'll buy her something maybe later. I just need to focus on the main party first. So white gloves, leather boots. Because Agnes is pretty much just like uh just like Tear. She uses magic. I'm just gonna sell some of the stuff. Gear Sarme. It's, it's 1700 though, damn. What do you need though? Hmm, you need a hand. So, any... So, bronze bracelet seems good. I don't think I'll be able to buy him a new weapon. Maybe we'll get a weapon later for him. In the meantime, here's your bronze bracelet. Phew! Phew, indeed. All right, let's go outside. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right, let's check out the enemies here. Maybe, oh, they're the same enemies, looks like. It's fine though. We got a lot stronger now. You're weak. You're a hack. You're whack. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm actually gonna wanna grind a bit here, actually. So I'll see you guys back when I'm done grinding, okay? All right, now that we finished grinding up, it's time to go. So I grind up uh, Luke and T are now level 11 and Jade and Guy level 10. So it's not really that high. I didn't do a major upgrade or something like that. I also bought uh, the weapon for Jade because thanks to the random encounter I get some money for it. So yeah, now we can move on with the story. <laughs> Running away from the enemies here. We don't need to fight them again. Okay. Should be on the south here. Yep, there we go. Uh, don't follow me, please. There we go. Kitesur Naval Port. Hell, hell yeah. This is awesome. Huh? What's going on? Sounds like a monster. Yeah, a deadly monster. What the hell is that noise? That's one of Gloomietta's pets. Gloomietta? <laughs> <laughs> Arietta, the god general Arietta. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Stop touching me. It flew from the direction of the harbor. Let's go. Great. I'm sure you're enjoying yourself, guy, but we'd best be going. <laughs> Get her away from me. Uh, I told you she's dangerous. Arietta attacks. So Arietta came after all. Yeah. Yep. Huh? What about Gloomietta? What do you call her that? She attacked us at the Fubras Rivers too. The Miasma got her that time. Yeah. But I asked them to let her go. The food bars, they're close by, and she's already come back. Glumieta is always so stubborn, and she moves so fast, and she never listens to anybody. <laughs> Such a pain. I knew, I knew things would end up like this. There's no point in arguing over the past, so let's leave it at that. Yeah, let's go over, the, over to where the trouble is. Right. Alright, let's go. Already being thrust into a battle. Oh. 
Ah, well, there you go. There goes our boat. <laughs> Permission to do this. I knew it was you, Gloomietta. Stop causing trouble for people. You all. I am not gloomy. You're mean, Annis. <laughs> what happened here? So I should say Emoetta? Emoetta? <laughs> Arietta unleashed her monsters on the ship. Commandant. I'm sorry. Ash asked me to. Ash? to take away the engineer who can repair the ship. If you want him back, Luke and Ion have to come to Coral Castle. Not great. If they don't come, they'll kill him. Van, how's the ship? Out of commission, I'm afraid. With our engineer kidnapped, we'll have to wait for the training ship to return. What's this Coral Castle that Arietta mentioned? It's Duke Faber's vacation home. I heard he abandoned it when the front line of the previous war drew near. Huh, really? Luke, come on. Coral Castle is where they found you when you were kidnapped seven years ago. I told you I don't remember anything from back then. Maybe I'll remember something if I go there. Yep, there's a reason why he doesn't remember. There's no need for you to go. Wait for the training ship to return to port. I'll deal with Arietta myself. But that means we'll be ignoring Arietta's demands. Isn't preventing war what's important right now? Luke, take phone master Ion and return to the border. There's nothing here but simple rest facilities. I'll remain here and put a stop to Arietta. Oh, no you don't. Now I'm gonna go yes, there. Sir. Luke, don't listen to him. <laughs> We're gonna go there and save the uh, engineer. Ugh, no response. What about the... Uh, Liger, no response either. Oh, I'm sad. Kim Laska base. To go or not to go? Coral Castle. I can understand your interest, but I know, I know. I'm not saying I'm not. I want to go or anything. Master Van said I didn't even have to go anyway. Even if you do go, you may not be able to accomplish anything. I said I know, I just have to wait back at Kaitsu, right? Sheesh. <laughs> but he might do him some good, you know. He might remember something. Oh, he remembers something, alright. <laughs> then again, he might not. Well, yeah, but... Though, to be honest, I wouldn't entirely disapprove of going either. Well, do you want to go or not? <laughs> alright, it's locked. Okay, everything's locked. This place is full of shit. Maybe in here? The end, yeah. So then I can take a rest? Yes. Still ways to go, huh? Hmm? Look. Yeah, we finally made it back to Kimlaska and now this. The trip will go much faster once we aboard Kaito's ship. Just be patient. Yeah, dude, calm down. I've been i I've been patient. Don't treat me like a baby. You are a baby. Uh I'm sorry. Perhaps children are children precisely because they don't realize they are children. <laughs> oh god. I love you, Jade. I'm gonna save. Alright, let's go. The music is so depressing. <laughs> Phone Master Ion, please wait. Mate. Mm -hmm. What business do you have with the Phone Master? Jeez. The man Arietta the Wild kidnapped is our maintenance chief. Please, Phone Master, you have to save the chief. Should we? I mean, we don't really have to, right? <laughs> The chief faithfully upholds the score. He's a devout follower of the Order of Lorelei. He was relieved when this year's birth score stated that calamity would be avoided. Please. All right. Are you sure? Arietta told me to come. I agree with Ion. 
And you called me soft. If we abandon one, the scores foretold will be saved from calamity. We will be ignoring the score. That would go against Yulia's teachings, and... And? Never mind. It is true that the score should be upheld. Um, I think we should go to Coral Castle, too. If you're mm -hmm. going to Coral Castle, I'll go with you. There's something there I'd like to investigate. Arietta's female, you know. D don't remind <laughs> me. <laughs> No way am I going. Even Master Van said we didn't have to. Arietta said for you to come as well. Please don't abandon the chief. He has a family in Batacle. By God, that man has a family. He has been broken in half. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll go. Are you happy now? Why do I have to... Oh, oh sorry. So much. Coral Castle is southeast of here, along the coast. Please take care. All right. Well, you heard him. Shall we be going? I thought you were against going to Coral Castle. Nope. Either way is fine by me. <laughs> what the... I don't get you at all. No one does. Alright, let's go there. I think we just followed a dirt road. To the Coral Castle. So we're going. Oh yeah, we're going, alright. We can't ignore Arietta's threat to the maintenance chief. I'm sorry for involving you in this. No, don't worry. It's fine, somebody's gotta go along to protect you. Ah, He does care. I'll take care of the monsters. Luke, can you protect me too? No. <laughs> protect Annis. I'm not really sure she needs. <laughs> there are monsters all over. The frail maiden is supposed to receive protection from the prince or duke. Whatever, it's so dreamy. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, enough already. Let's go. Okay. Okay. God, you're even worse than Luke when when it comes to Van. <laughs> Alright, it should be over here, I think. The coral caster. Damn, that, that crab is really fast. Holy sh holy crap. Where is it? How the hell did the crab move so fast? Ah, there you go. The coral castle. Stop chasing me, stop chasing me, stop chasing me. Uh... Alright, there goes the Coral Castle. So I'm gonna end the part here. I hope you guys, I guess the next episode, we'll go through the Coral Castle here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you have a nice day or night, whatever, whichever. Anyway, later.